<laughs> oh my god! Oh. Here's some beautiful dried octopus. Oh, oh no. That is alarmingly smelly. Oh, it is not mm. food. It's a f***ing octopus. Ah, oh, yeah, dude, this is so f***ed up. It's only through oh, me! <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's hectic shit. Watched you stand up and humiliate her in front of hundreds of people, that poor blind girl. That was fucked up, man. I don't want to talk about it on the podcast. Yeah. That was wrong, but I've just come up with the new trend. Go on. Okay. The task is you have to, and this is called recycling water. Basically, you drink, you get, take a gulp of water in your mouth. Yep. You tilt your head back. And then you try and transfer the water from your mouth to your nose. Circle. Circulation. Ready? Hang on. I'll show try. us. I'll what show it goes, why wouldn't you put it in your nose first and then out your mouth? Because that's not circulation. Oh, it has to dribble down into your mouth. Okay, here we go. Michael's tilting his head back. Okay, everyone can watch now, even those on Spotify. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. God, I hope he chokes. Here we go. That's not far enough back. Oh, oh I see. Work. Oh shit! He's so he's spraying. spitting it out out his nose into his nose. <laughs> okay. Oh, man, see, well, I thought you were gonna drink it and then get oh. it to come out your nose back into your mouth. It's not good. <laughs> and, <laughs> anyway, guys, welcome Prot prototype stage to oh. episode number six of the Muddy Michael Fully Actual Podcast. We are here. We have got James Lee here today. It's <laughs> gonna be a fucking wild episode. We got fucking our fussy little boys. He's back. We've got voicemail segment. We've got trauma trivia, which I'm not looking forward to. We've got prank calls. We've got how famous are we? We've got lots of famous people who've replied to us and lots of other shit too. We've got Matt's dream diary. And man, oh man, it's going to be a wild one, Matt. We've also got the Chiefs That's Gold segment. Michael. So Michael. Mike's trying been to trying to bring, he's been trying to bring that back for like three seasons because he loves the chief <laughs> from yeah, the, the footy chief, show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and, he and was a fats. good guy. He played for Newcastle, Michael. <laughs> Me? Up the home. The matters. fussy little boys today, by the way, lads, is it's not going to be a good time. But, but James, fuck. Fuck. But James, I James and I will I eat some. Yeah, 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 we're going to eat some as well. No, it doesn't matter if you guys eat some. If it's bad, it's going to be Bad. No, Matt, I'm genuinely quite looking forward to it. Matt had a problem at work. There was some kind of chemical spill. That's why you're dressed like this right now. So do you want to explain what happened there? Some of the concrete dust got up into the air duct filters and started spraying around the office. Is that? No. Well, oh, what yeah. happened then? Because it was best. something that you've done and you've been yelling. I can hear it in your voice. You've uh. been abusing your staff. <laughs> now you stand there swirling your fucking AG1 mm. like a king. He was top of the hissing himself laughing before telling us about how... Pissing himself oh, off. No, 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 no. We Give us your best dad. Don't cut that, Connor. No, no, no. no. We've got to cut Replay that. Replay it, I think. They really take it seriously. They <laughs> really take that shit seriously. No, it was an accident, but it wasn't yeah, no, I wasn't talking about, I wasn't talking about, about it. I was talking about Blockbuster. <laughs> Shut Ooh. up. Give us your best dab. Matt, go. Three, two, one. I'll show you mine. He's got... Oh, man, come on. That's I have a lazy. better thing than a dab. What? And James was there for it. Oh. So, I am... Um, what did you guys get up to on the... I entered another basketball break. Oh, shit. Oh, this, is, oh, yeah. this is dab this is backwards. And, and, um, so, yeah. Can I tell and my bit first? Yeah, I'll, I'll really tell what briefly. happened and then you Wait, can explain what a basketball, because it sounds like you, Man. like what the fuck even is that? All right, it's a basketball break. Basically, you pay to enter a, a box opening and you get given a team. Oh, fuck. Cards. Cards That's fucked. Right. Now, um, now I How entered much? it and I, don't worry about it. I entered it and I asked for the Lando Magic and the best player on that team is, uh, is Banchero. And anyway, I got one of his cards and it was a autograph card, but the best thing was, right. You get a lot of, you get a lot of cards that have an autograph sticker, <sighs> but this one was actually on the card, which means he's actually touched the card. It was pretty awesome. So long story short, you're a loser. <laughs> how much, anyway, how much was it? I had a fucking good reaction, James. Yeah, well, I was just I'd like Matt's quite notoriously lethargic in the afternoons. Boys agree. Yeah, he comes home and likes to lie down and close nap. his little eyes. And Normally, his shoes are still on. Like he's that lethargic, he'll have a tuck into his bed with his shoes still that on. Sounds very negative. Anyway, we'll talk about right. that later. But anyway, so so <laughs> I, I was leaving, heading to my car, and I just heard like an explosive, like yes. Like oh, fuck yeah. you. Yeah, no, fuck, fuck you. I just impersonated it. It wasn't me. <laughs> you fucking put it in. Just you impersonating that pissed me off. Yeah, dude. Oh, dude. So I was, I was like, okay, i got to go back inside and see what's going on. Matt was 
Frolicking is the only word I can oh. think to use. He was frolicking Mimic around it. the living Mimic room. It. Did he stop when he, he was saw like, you? He was like, he had that one hand at sort of like a ninety degree angle with a with a fist clenched. Oh. You know, so that's you... the joy. And then he's like sort of bouncing, bouncing back and forth. And he's, he looks straight at me. He's like, he's like, I just got a really good card. Oh, oh. Like, did he was change? Breathless. Did he change when he oh. saw you come in? Like, did, no, was he, he no, was too was, excited. Was energetic. He couldn't, so, he couldn't can hold you it tell back. us how much it costs to enter one of these things? It's all different prices. Okay, how much was this one? Uh, not much. It was very cheap. Twenty five dollars. Uh, it was around there. Yeah. yeah, I thought so. Okay, I thought that's what you said. Thank you. Me. That's what I wanted to know. Twenty five dollars to enter this. But some of them can be up to. It can be ridiculous. You can. So how, how much, much is that card, card worth? <gasps> I don't know. Oh. Um, oh. what's a dono? Uh, it's <laughs> some kind of meat that you put on kebabs. Yeah, it's probably in a couple hundreds. In the hundreds. Well, well, well. So Brown. basically, this is what. We've been trying to get you to do no, this. No, 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 don't get into that. Oh, I'm just okay. saying. I always want to try and elevate our platform to make oh, Brown. Brown's going to start his own YouTube channel when and he's going to Breaking maybe. Baskets. Hey, hang on, hang on. No. <laughs> breaking Baskets with the <laughs> Browns. He destroys <laughs> Baskets <laughs> each week. Brown Baskets. <laughs> Everything you said there was just incorrect. Brown Baskets. I would bastard. love to see you. Brown Baskets. As right. much as I hate that shit, <laughs> if, it, if it made you like as happy <laughs> as it did the other day when you James saw you frolicking, yeah. if that makes you that happy, I want you to do that and i want you to at least have a brown crack at it but on, would you be as happy oh opening yeah. other people's cards oh yeah 100 really? could it's you just, just want to be near it because it, for it a doesn't bit? matter it, for me it doesn't matter if if um it's the excitement if i pay for it or it. not it's i'm the one who's pulled it out i'm the one who's found it so and if it's really good you can just delete the video and pretend like it never happened no, you have to do it live just go it. photoshop it. it go go photo yeah, copy it in office works no no you do it live you do it live yeah but you can just still pocket it Dude, yeah. I reckon just post the video and that's why you call it brown a bastard. watermark. <laughs> you get a good card, you delete the live stream and pocket the card. Yeah, have a water and then post it later and have a watermark saying live in the top left corner. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Dude, that's genius. Anyway, anyway let's talk about something fucking else than yeah. cards. Yeah. Michael went to a wedding on the weekend. How was it? And Charmy and the boys were there. Yeah, I went to Pero. Congratulations with Congrats, Madison. Pero. Madison as well. They it was honestly unbelievable. It was they it was mint. They would have spent a fortune. The yeah, full on like dancers. Very nice wedding How much? Stories. Guess. I reckon. Oh, they had professional a, dancers, did they? There was like professional drummers, and oh. it was like a Macedonian wedding. John so Farnham. We ran around in circles for a while, which was just you'd think would get old real quick. You're just going around in circles. It's just is fun. It gets Did funner it speed and speed up. Yep. And yeah. then yeah, da, da, and by the end, you're sprinting as fast as you can and you're at an angle. You're sprinting so fast, running around in circles. Yeah, yeah. Well, we were actually near the wedding cake and someone almost knocked it over at one point. <laughs> oh, oh, that hectic. It was. That would have been and good. yeah, Shami was there, Jaden was there, Dim was there, so was his Dim's brother. And then uh Austin and J yeah, it was the How'd whole you greet group. the boys like a slap hand fight? No, it was hugs. Oh, hugs all no, around. no handshake yeah. then hug. Just I think hug. there was a bit of handshakes at the end. Can you tell us about Austin, because I saw a story on Dim's story where he was like he under, was a, under table. a table, yeah. like covered did he get, in. Did he get liquid? Flayed? He was. He was. It was hard because you know that point where you've had a big night the night before, and then you're pressured to drink the next night. That was him. Yeah. He was so fucked. He's like, I can't do it. And I was like, Dude, you've just got to push through here. And then they brought him over like a, a cup full, half of oh, shots. Oh, that makes sense because I saw him drinking in another store, and he looked like he was swallowing razor blades. It was, was so tough for him, but then he broke through. He sculled this half of half a glass of spirits and he just changed. And he's like, I did the right thing, Michael. I was like, yes, you did. <laughs> I did the right thing. <laughs> and then, and because I was like, dude, you have to do it. That's the only way through yeah. this. And then he did it. He saw it was the other way through. But it's always, it's a way through to a different way because, you know, you, there were stories of him like underneath tables later. There is a consequence. But funny story from Austin. He told me the night before he was at a wedding, best man for his mate. He was the best man. He did a speech for him and apparently his speech was highly, highly inappropriate. Like we're talking <laughs> like, um, I don't know if I can quote this. Oh, yes, I can. He fucking did it as a speech. But he was talking about how his mate used to jack off into walls, <gasps> oh, like onto no. walls and shit. And he said <laughs> that his it, grandma it, there? it landed. I think it landed for most people. Obviously the close family, it's probably hard to hear. <laughs> but for most people, they were in hysterics. So well done, Austin. That takes balls to do that. And sorry, uh, guts. For everybody. And um, did you kiss any prasads? Yes. No. You, you, you were no, sober well, though the whole sober. time. He doesn't really sober. Know. I was yeah. a sober yeah, boy so at a wedding. He's sober. not very really bisexual when he's sober. I had a cigar. I had a cigar. Oh, yes. Was and, it nice? Um, was Cuban? Yeah, yeah. It was Cuban. Oh, I love a cigar. 
So, uh, yeah, training. we're still training. Michael's decided he's going to try and do the fight. We're seven weeks out now. Um, we'll be five weeks out by the time you hear this. Um, and that's been going all right. We've just been fucking um, training our, our asses off. Should I... I'm I'm kind of I'm seeing some comments. Of people saying, "Oh, just tell us what this treatment you're undergoing might need to fix your fucking um, heart shit." So I'm just gonna take a couple of minutes to just quickly explain this. Okay, if this doesn't interest you, just skip ahead. Okay, so sorry, boys. I'll just I'll just explain this as quick as I can. That's right. We can put a little um a little section Marty's heart explanation. Uh, yeah. So if you look down in the little scanner thing, you can go past. Yeah. If you're not interested. Exactly. So. <laughs> Like I've been saying, okay, watch this podcast on Joe Rogan with Gary Brecker. And basically this guy, you do a genetic test with a cheek swab, okay? You can order them anywhere in the world. You just order a genetic test. You do a cheek swab, you send it off. They send back the results and they tell you what kind of genomes you have and what you're deficient in. So I had some genomes in my body, in my brain in particular, that weren't producing certain things. So my nervous system would just go fucking haywire. My nervous system, And there was nothing in my body to like mop up all the nervous system shit. So all they did was give me some amino acids that my brain doesn't produce, that everyone else's brains produce, and my fucking heart shit has been coming down and down and down. I've, I've a few skipped beats every now and then after I work out. No more high blood pressure. It's taken like it's four weeks, and I feel so much better. You learn so much about your fucking health. I've literally never felt better. For I reckon it's the best I've felt in like 10 years. So the secret is go and get a genetic test done. Okay, uh, what, what would you? What do you call it? The the um, I forget what it's called. Methylation test. Methylation test. Thank yeah. you, Brown. Yeah, it's a methylation test, um, and then go to someone, a naturopath or someone who can help you decipher the information and then just get on some supplements. The results are fucking insane. All the boys are going to do it now as well. I'm going to get my whole fucking family to do it. You do it one test and I'm not, I'm not getting paid for any of this, by the way. This is just, I'm just speaking exactly what's happened. Spent 10 grand on fucking cardiologists. All they wanted to do was put me on beta blockers and blood pressure medication the whole time. Couldn't tell me why I had high blood pressure. Did this once, figured everything thing out and like I've never felt better so I would highly recommend and if you're in Brisbane go to Perpetual Wellbeing okay there's a little clinic there that will fucking sort you out tell them Marty sent you Perpetual Wellbeing in Brisbane there's three there's three there? Perpetual yeah. Wellbeings oh, is there? around is there, there's one in Graceville and one uh, yeah. in the city I go to the What's one the in Graceville one? I can't remember but I saw on their website there's three mm. I go to the one in Graceville it's just it's honestly it's been life changing I've, I've I feel so much fucking better and just yeah, so if you're if you're having heart shit that you can't explain, or you just or you just want to go and get your health looked at, like Matt's gone, he doesn't have any heart issues. He's just going for his fucking swollen joints and well, shit. They, they James is the healthiest man alive. He's going as well. Yeah, He's going to get some supplementation. Week. It's just good because you figure out what your body needs. Like it, it's different for everyone. So the shit that I'm on might not work for you, but you can just go and get go in there and figure out what the fuck is going on. It's honestly Dana White is on did the. Same same shit. You go and follow his journey. The president of the of the UFC, he was fucked. He had like he was so, so overweight on high blood pressure medication. Everything no throwing one, up in the middle of the night. Yeah, no yeah. one could figure out what was wrong with him. Like he and he was he has endless amounts of money, paying the best doctors in the world. He met Gary Brecker and Brecker fixed him in ten weeks. And that's the kind of feeling that I'm getting at the moment. I'm training like fucking twice a day, like a maniac, like getting my heart rate up, all kinds of fucking ridiculous heights with zero issues. So I would highly recommend. Do you go and do this if this is something you want to do or if you have some annoying ailments that you want to have a look at? Fuck going to your GP. They'll just sit you down for five minutes and go, here, have these medications. Go do one of these tests. They'll sit you down for like an hour, an hour and a half, figure out your whole history and actually fucking sort the cause and not just fix the symptoms. But anyway, I'll put, um, let's, so perpetual well-being, perpetual well-being, we'll put their fucking um, link in the description. If you're in Brisbane, if you're not, just Google methylation test wherever you are and find somewhere that can interpret the results for you because it's a big fuck off report that comes back. And that is the secret that I've been hiding in my heart. And I'm on two different amino acids right now and it's been life changing. And that's it. It's like taking a fucking vitamin every day. Shut up, Matt. It's natural. Anyway, back to the fuck. And speaking of natural, you know what else is pretty natural? Mm -hmm. Abortions. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess if you use the right tool. But there's a product on the market that's green. What's it called? 
AG1. AG1, everybody. AG1 has 75 vital nutrients and minerals. Matt's sculling it down his neck right now, down his gullet. Finish it. He lets it sit in his sack here like a pelican, and he'll have it later. And it's got 75 vital nutrients and minerals. You can't get that from a balanced diet. So just, it's about 150 bucks a month Australian. And yeah, you might be thinking, oh, that's far too expensive for me. Or you sit there and have a $30 six pack of half strength beers. You fucking No point half strength. Dude, fucking get on this shit. Fix your life. It adds health and vitality to you. And it's just the best thing in the world. Use our discount code fully actual and you get a free travel pack and, and other shit like that, man. It's so good, man. Crunt. It's, it's green. Nature's <laughs> also green and nature's like sexy. Crunt. That's sexy. And, and dude, and the guy who invented it's dead. <laughs> what? No, 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 he's no, actually he alive. He was is well. Be dead. He, he was going to be dead, now but he fine. invented this shit, and now he's like eight foot tall, and he's got six arms and shit, man. And that's not even me talking shit. He's fucking huge. He lives in Hawaii. He climbs all the trees, needs coconuts, bear like whole. He just fucking eats coconuts whole, all because he's on AG one. And we can guarantee here that, at that will happen Marty, to you too. Marty and Michael, we will guarantee. We can't make AG1 guarantee this, but we will stand up for it and guarantee that you will probably live to like 100, maybe. If you stay on it for the rest of your life, okay? That's just our hypothesis so far. You know we're educated scientists. Link in our description. Head there. Have a look at the product. It's hectic as shit. It is so fucking hectic. I want to start a fire. It's slick. Man, I want to just burn a fucking house down, man. That's how fucking good that shit is. Green. Mm. Anyway, yeah. it's AG1. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. And let's not forget about our little friends. Our um, little friends there. that Kind of just uh, watching the days go by. Just kind of sit there and, oh, yeah. Just listen to another podcast where you sort of lie in bed and think, oh, yeah, one day, one day I'll start to respect myself. Michael. One day I'll start to look after myself. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe I look like shit and that's contributing to my low self-esteem and why no one respects me. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thinked? Matt, have you? No, you haven't. Have you? Well, maybe it's time to smarten up a bit, hey? To rise. Did you know that you could die at any moment? Did you know that? People have and then come back. Uh, but most of them don't, though. True. Remember? Yep, that's true. Most people stay dead, you fucking idiot. So why are you wasting your life not shaving your body and looking a bit better? <laughs> You fucking dumb fucking idiot. All it takes is one small step. Go to manscaped.com. Use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20 for 20% off. Boom. There How you much? go. We just gave that to you. 20% off. 50. 50. It's 50%. 20% off. 50% off. It's 50% well, they've said, off. They've said not to say it, but I'm saying it, man. If that gets you to go to this website, I want the best for you. 60%. Okay? Go to the website and have a look at their products. They've got fucking shavers you can use in the shower so you can do your nuts, your back, and your legs at the same fucking time while washing your fucking grease out of your fucking fathead crunt. crunt. Crunt is our new word because of... Yes. Sorry. So we're going to start saying crunt instead of C-U-N-T. It's a different word and it still sounds funny. Crunt. <laughs> <sighs> If you start now, you'll look back in a year's time and think, thank God I did this. Learn to hold your head up high and stop being such a bag of shit. Don't just settle for being a hairy fucking pussy loser. Hair all over your flaps. Hair running down your back. Flies getting caught in your shit. Ticks. Ticks, ticks on your dick. Frigid, frigid fridges. Yeah. Frigid fridges. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> There's really, you can't, they're not sexual. Anyway, manscaped.com. It's also for fucking women, Italian ones. It's also for <laughs> Italian women. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess they could use it. And a lot of other women, most women, all women. Italian women in particular. If you're from Italy, then go to manscaped.com because you need to shave your tits or I ain't touching you. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're we're gonna go and have a fucking massive fat huge hit of the meth pipe and we'll be right back with Matt's dream diary and our fussy little boys. Yes. Yes. Have a break, have a bong, have a bong, have a break. Here I go, baby. Yeah. <laughs>
This is the real shit. <laughs> Shiny Clay! Oh, <laughs> oh my god, we're back and guess <laughs> what, everyone? Matt's been dreaming. Oh, yes. yes. Matt's been having a little dream, dream, eh? Hey? Yeah, good dreams, hey. though. Uh, I um, listened to the uh, dream diary from episode number four, and like, I was like, man, Matt's dreams go for a really long time. So um, I'm just going to read the ones that are a little bit shorter. Uh, and I apologize for that. And Matt just kind of goes on a little bit sometimes. Mm. All right. So if you don't know, this is Matt dream, Matt's dream diary where he details every single dream that he has. Okay. He writes it down so he doesn't forget it. And he also wants to one day interpret what they mean because no one knows because it's all fucking, it's wild in your head. It's like a fucking coyote's got out in the fucking hen house. Weird dream. I told this one to my girlfriend and she started crying. I'm not sure why. I was scuttling along the floor searching for scraps. I would scuttle up cupboards and scurry across any spoons or forks left out after a meal. I would drag my germ-covered ass across toothbrushes and suck any moisture out of the bristles. <laughs> I was good at being a cockroach. Every night when the humans went to sleep, I would leave my hiding place and leave my mark on every bit of house that my stiff, hard legs could scramble over. But as good as my life was, I felt this intense loneliness. I ran into other insects from time to time, but they always seemed to ignore me. I would even try and talk to some. There were some ants scouting the kitchen and our paths crossed, and I wanted to try and make some friends with them. I told them about a piece of ham I had found over near the oven, but they all just awkwardly looked at each other and walked away. I even see other cockroaches hanging out and sharing food, but the moment I try and introduce myself, they would quickly scuttle away. This constant rejection started to wear on me. I felt myself sinking further and further into depression. I resorted to even trying to make friends with flies during the day, but even the flies would buzz away if I approached. I could hear them talking about me as they flew away and saying that they felt really sorry for me. That was the last straw. I couldn't take it anymore. I decided that I was going to let a spider eat me <laughs> and end my loneliness. <laughs> Later that night, as soon as the humans were asleep, I took flight and battered my greasy, slick wings one last time. I did a lap of the house and decided to find the biggest, hungriest spider that lived here. I knew where he would be. I scuttled over with my gross fucking yuck as fuck fast moving legs and saw him on the fridge. <laughs> he was a stunning huntsman spider, huge and powerful, with fangs the size of my whole body. I knew he would kill me quickly. With one final breath, I head straight for the spider. It sees me and I brace myself and close my eyes. I continue bracing and nothing. I slowly open one of my slippery little fucking eyes and to my total shock, I watch the spider running away. What the hell was wrong with me? Why am I not even good enough to eat food? Then suddenly I hear a click. The kitchen is flooded with blinding light. A human had come in for a midnight snack. It took a moment for my eyes to adjust, and when they did, it, well, I was still standing facing the fridge. Except now that there was light, I could finally see my own reflection. I'd never seen myself before, and I was about to run and hide from the approaching human, but something caught my eye. My cockroach face didn't quite look right. I scuttled a bit closer until my feelers touched the fridge. I stared deep into my own face, and then I see it. Oh, for fuck's sake, I've got Down Syndrome again. <laughs> My little cockroach face is a bit smooshed together and I just don't quite look like a regular cockroach. <laughs> Just as everything in my life finally made sense, a human shoe gets slammed straight onto my back. It compresses and mangles my hard cockroach body. A spray of goo explodes out of my abdomen. Somehow I'm still alive, but my body is encrusted onto the floor. I see my legs twitching in front of me and catch a glimpse of my Down Syndrome cockroach face one last time before the human shoe slams down on my body for the second time, and I am dead. That's when I wake up. Why am I constantly dreaming that I have Down syndrome? It's very strange. <laughs> oh, and it was a wet dream. <laughs> that was beautiful. Hmm. Yeah, it is a bit weird, man. <laughs> Matt actually has it. Oh. Oh. Have you ever been tested? No. Well, if you keep dreaming that. Well, maybe it's a fear of them, like you're scared of them. Maybe. There was one on my street growing up. Okay. It, I chase you. Yeah, he just uh, he just wanted to have friends. You were like, bullied you by to, someone so with Down syndrome. Like yeah, he'd be like, oh my God, there's people. And he'd just yeah. run after you. Oh, well, like, maybe. Okay. Did you ever make uh, skin to skin contact with him? 
Not sexually, just like brushed past him or something like yeah, that. Yeah, one time his dad came over to us and thought that we were beating him up and um, we weren't. We were just talking to him. And um, and I put, my space, hand, I put my hand on him and just said, I said, no way, I'd never you hit do him. that. And I put my hand on but his But was back. he wearing a shirt oh. or was it skin to skin? Why did he think that? It was shirt. Why okay. did the dad think that? I think he gets beat up or I think he was getting beat up. Yeah. I've been, rescued. On I've been rescued multiple times by a Down syndrome guy. That's true. Why multiple? Because we used to stay at this caravan park and he'd love to just throw the kids because like it was like a 20-something-year-old Down syndrome guy, but he mm. acted like an eight-year-old and used to throw kids into the pool and then scream Baywatch and jump in and save them. So he's touched your skin to skin there? A hundred percent. He'd have That's his sick. arm wrapped around cool. my waist. And what, he would wow. throw you into the water and you would drown and he would save you? Yeah, which was kind of, it was kind of awkward because I'd like just I just wanted to play the pool normally. And we're yeah. talking I just wanted belly to have some back. fun with my friends. Oh yeah, he hit that, and then he'd like throw me in and like jump in and like sort of manhandle me out of the pool and just scream Baywatch. Did he touch wow. you a bit? No, no, not just, down there. Just he, like no. fingers were interlocked at some points, like when he was trying to pull you, or just normal handhold nah, like just that. Just wrapped around my waist, like Did he like smell I was a you? big teddy bear. Did he try and smell you? I don't have memory of that. Just lots of okay. lots of grabbing and pulling me out of the pool and then throwing me back in. One time I was at a birthday party. And why? Why? Not why were you at the birthday party. Why does it matter if he was touching me? I don't oh, know. It, just, it sounds it's very like, touchy-feely. It's, it's interesting. Well, it was, but... It's like Matt's, Matt's it's important. just done clothing it's important. contact. It's hmm. important. I haven't. Uh, mine, hmm. mine, when I was at a party came up to me and we all had like that ice cream with the, the topping that sets on the top. Magic. Ice magic. Ice magic. Yeah, there oh, you go. Shout out. Shit, well man. done, boys. Now, it might have set, and I was very excited at the end of the party to have my treat. And my one came across and just pulled my arm. <laughs> oh, the whole cap off. <laughs> just the whole cap, the whole top of the, the, the uh, hardened Dude, that's chocolate on top of the ice cream. Did you even get to crack it with the spoon? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he got to it before that. And I must oh, say that, like, man. It, just the, the act I'm now, it, the act of someone touching my food just puts me off it. That's so what I just, happened. It's the that's trauma. That's where it comes from. So you, well. you hate the people with Down syndrome. You hate them. No, just skin to skin touch. <laughs> what was uh, his or her's name? <laughs> Um, why skin to skin? Why wouldn't you hate them touching your food? I wonder if you well, give that's them sort of skin to skin. I wonder if it goes from there to my food. I wonder I if guess. you yeah. give them a different name if you're if you have a baby and you have said has dancing around. Would you give it a different name than to what, what you, you were going originally? Maybe yeah. maybe you just chuck it down in front of their name. <laughs> down Michael. <laughs> Like down kind of James. Dude, yeah, that's not bad. Look, we're down we're Brownly are. joking here, everyone, of oh, course. Oh, we haven't said anything bad. No, exactly. My favourite, literally my favourite person online is Down Syndrome. Clayton, shout out to Clayton. Yeah. If you do not follow Clayton's world on Instagram, then sort fuck that you. shit out because it is the best. I and trust follow. me, watch it and you'll... F- fuck you, man. Watch yeah, it. I've rude. never heard of him. You've never heard of Chicken He's Burger, the Chicken Burger guy. Very good. Dude, James you have showed to me follow and I was very Yeah, it's very good. It's just He's a little, it's like a 30 seconds of joy every day. You can't not love him. He's the best. Let's Sorry. fucking collaborate with him. Oh, All right. please. Him and, Matt, he... him and Matt have to stay in a motel for three nights together. Maybe Sydney. Uh, but we could reach out to his older brother. Dude, would you hang out with him for three nights? Dude, you would have the and best we'll, time. And we'll do a documentary. If you don't say Down yes, and is. Brown, we'll call it. It's quite telling. I just said the C word, Connor. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I reckon a doco we call it Down and Brown. Brown, yeah, Brown oh, and Down, yeah. Brown and Down. No, and it's you downtown getting, with Brown and if Down. If this video gets look, if this video gets six hundred likes, <laughs> yes. we average about four fifty five hundred. If this podcast gets six hundred likes, we will pay for Matt Brown to fly down to Sydney and meet up with Clayton. Oh. That's the goal, but maybe we did. Oh, we can't bring him up on Let's the plane, can we? No, no. Maybe we bring him don't up here. Don't follow no. him until you meet him, because then if you g- genuinely like him in person, you follow. That's yeah, the reward. So Matt, we'll, we will pay. <laughs> we will pay Matt to go down to Sydney. It's six hundred likes. By the way, please take this moment to like, comment, subscribe. Give us a five star review on Spotify. If we we are still two point nine k, what were we going to say if we reach three thousand? Michael's going to shave his head at three thousand. I think at three thousand. No, no, three thousand. Let's do that. At three thousand, we will collaborate with Clayton. What about, what about this? And at five thousand, <laughs> Matt, I reckon, should call his mum and tell him about the time that he used to have condoms. He had to use in his condom in his wallet. <sighs> oh, that's it. Not oh, his soft drinks. Oh yeah. Has that not happened yet? <sighs> no. no can we well, call I did. I was. I had motivation to do it once, but now I feel so I don't disgusted know, by so for reference. Yeah, I, I feel why so. Why don't we call her? I'll tell her. 
No. I get At along 5, well with 5,000 uh, five-star review, uh, five-star on Spotify. On Spotify. Yeah. We will call up Matt's mum and Matt will explain or say, do you remember the time you found no. a condom, condom in oh, my wallet? Please. Yeah, that was a used condom. Also, can I just quickly make a point in saying Spotify viewers, you have an uncensored version um, without the bleeps on Spotify from now on. Sorry we had those uh, few episodes where there was bleeps. There will be no more of that, okay? So are the uncensored, unbleeped versions will be on Spotify. Um, and, yeah, that's that's crazy. It's Say sexual. fuck, Marty. Say fuck. Fuck. See? See? Ooh, See? Don't say it too many times. You <laughs> fucking crunt. <laughs> fuck. You fucking crunt. Crunt still has its little clang, clang, clang. Yeah, but nothing yeah. beats the actual. Yeah, it is a nice <laughs> word. Oh, it's good, is <laughs> Yeah. Good word. So look, there we have it, Matt. Maybe Matt and Clayton, and so also five thousand likes. Is five thousand likes to hear five thousand five, five star sorry. reviews on five thousand five star reviews. And if the next video gets six hundred likes, we all get to horse bite slap Matt's thighs. I don't think I like the idea <laughs> of any of that. Oh yeah, we'll look, we'll reassess. What about it. the Clayton trip? You get to go to Sydney. Of course, oh. fuck free. Oh. Dude, you can get. You love the ferry. There's a ferry there. Yeah, all right. You go to Luna Park. I've never been there. <laughs> yeah, it's a he's, he's oh, 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 little Sega little world. Huh? <laughs> is there a Sega world? I don't Star know. Dude, Wars? you got to go to LA because when I was there, there is a shop this big, as big as this room, with literally, I reckon, millions of stickers. It's just a sticker shop and it's mm. everything you could imagine. Name something. Blinky Bill. They've got it. Really? Yep, I reckon they would. A Probably not, actually. It's American. <laughs> yeah, they um, don't have Blinky Bill. Lots of oh, trading card might. stores. Blinky in Bill's Australian. Yeah, there is. There lots is. I don't know if they have card stores. Yeah, but anyway, you should go. Yeah, well, dress a... like that. I think. I don't think you should ever really get changed. You look into like a else. sticker, actually, today. Hold, hold, James, sticker. hold up that bottle of Prime sticker. next to, next to Matt. <laughs> what a fucking coincidence! Matt's dress is a fucking <laughs> Prime bottle today, and we are in no way, shape, or form endorsing Prime. Especially if you have little hair. Happen on the to have one. See, Shane going Goonglay, brother. All right, guys, let's move right along. It is time Ugh. for our fussy little oh, boys, yeah. guys. Hit it, Matt Brown. Uh, Hit it, baby. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just done with that. You're so sweaty, dude. You're bored? I'm going to go get the... <laughs> what the fuck? I'm going to go get the scallops. Uh, Press the button. Just kidding. Press the button. While James gets that, we'll do the intro music. We'll be right back with our fussy little boys. Hit it, Brown. Oh, what one is it? Oh, the, oh I probably didn't trade that one. Oh, oh. Fussy little boy. Fussy little, little world. These fussy are fussy little boys. Fuss, 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 fuss. World. Yeah. Shit. This is going to suck. I don't know Realize what it is. And it's like, I've never tasted this before. I've never had it before. But I'm willing to try it tonight. I'm actually kind of curious. Oh, dude, if you've... Oh, man, I'm fucked. We're yeah, living the Vita Loca. Yeah, now, you guys, we'll see who's I realised every week is hard because it's either going to be trauma trivia plus this segment or it's going to be like the bamboozled segment, which is the other week. But you only got 33.3 chance of getting the bamboozled. But. <laughs> <laughs> yes! 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 I feel oh. like um, the I air like in my head is like rejuvenating my brain. Do a, do a star jump. <laughs> His joints are still hurting. Yeah. Oh, no, hey? Imagine if the wrists and the ankles went next. Imagine if they fused all of your joints I together. I have already had pain in my ankles and feet. That oh, would be really? F- that's where it started years and years and years ago. But how long that's, ago? That's okay now. Yeah, how right. long ago did this all start? 26 or 7, I think. You're, you had gout at 26 or 27. Fossil little boy. That's fucked, Fossil man. Fossil little girl. Man, I wonder why I haven't... Imagine got- what things are going to be like if you're when, you're when you're 50. You're in your mid-40s now. Another five years, you'll be fucking 50. God knows how f- you be then. Right, here comes fucking Jimbo Jono with a bit of fucking fussy food for us. I can't wait for you guys to see this. Okay. I honestly... I literally see the okay. lid in the kitchen. It gives me a bit of anxiety. Yeah. I'm going to be okay. Yeah, yeah, this is f- edible food. You're not yeah, like it's got to be edible it. though. I don't want any fucking oh, shit. dog food. Yeah, oh, no, 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 this is this is actual human this is food for humans. This is definitely for humans. So this oh. week, and you got you guys got to remember, I'm not. I'll, I just want you to experience life. Yeah. So you like this. Last week we had oysters. You know, I don't know. I've never tried this. I'm gonna oh, be honest. Yeah, yeah. See, it's Look, weird that you guys haven't tried. Look, it's this. like it's like you know, you, we have our five senses. You want to see certain cool shit in life. You want to hear certain cool things in life, mm-hmm. and you also want to taste some cool shit in life. You might love it, bro. You might become obsessed with this, bro. Matt, you've been to Mongolia. 
Yeah. I'm going to pass you this, Marty. And as I say the title, I want you to open it slowly and dramatically. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay yeah, I tried weird things. Okay. This week. Not too weird, though. Is some beautiful dried octopus. Oh, oh no. It smells so nice. Okay, we have dried octopus. <laughs> Connor, get alive. a little zoom up. That. that is alarmingly smelly. Holy shit, yeah. that smells like fish. I actually was a bit nervous when I opened Dude, the packet. Dude, that's a dog treat. Do that's you, what Bosley used do to eat. Do you eat this like this or do you need to like heat it up no, or something? No, so, well, actually, is it should cooked? I get the packet and have a look? Oh. Has oh, it been cooked? Yeah, yeah. I'll have yeah, a look yeah. at well, the it's packet. Been dry. You get sick. I'm pretty sure it just says just eat it as it is. Yeah, well, I'm pretty keen, eh? It's like jerky. <laughs> just a moment. Has oh, it yeah, been right. cooked? I think so. Dude, it looks like oh. a hand. Dude, you can see the eight tentacles like fucking born. Oh, it's so weird. It's so weird. <laughs> I'm pretty curious. To just, Fuck off. Like you don't have to have a lot, just like about that much. How do you find shit like this? Yeah, so it's dried octopus, guys. Let us know in the comments if you've ever Whoa! tried it. The smell of it is so bad. And what you think of it as well. I'd love to know. Oh, Matt's gagging a little bit. Whoa, dude, smell the brain. Yeah, it's intriguing to me. It's, it's in, my German, my German heart. Shut up! That, Shut the fuck up! The, the scavenger within me gets Let excited. Let me read everything. <laughs> I'm like a fucking street the dog. Says all oh, natural oh. and healthy is the first thing they say, so that's good. Oh, we shit. take great care and quality control when our products are sent out. However, if you're not entirely satisfied with the product, don't worry about that. We're it's gonna all be. Where's the product from? Dried natural produce. Oh, needs further cooking before consumption. Oh, I see. Fuck, thank you. So, oh, does it, where's, the, where's the instructions on how to thank cook it? That's all right. I could literally just go and pour some boiling water over the and have it ready in fucking three minutes, brother. Oh, shit. All right, it's we're going to have a fat, fat bong break, and when we come back, we're going to have some freshly served dried octopus. Mm. Mm. Bong break. Have a break, have a bong, have a bong, have a break. Here I go, baby. <laughs> this is the real shit. <laughs> who would have thought? Must yeah, need, who would have thought? Must need to get like nice and soft. Boom, back! Like a cock. Who would have thought? No, you, you nearly fucking kill me. No, he can go boil while I berate you over this. All right, all right. Yeah, that's scary. Go on then. We could have died. Give me, a, give me a fucking berate. Go on. You nearly made us eat something that I had to be cooked. nearly made me eat it, brother. I nearly eat it, brother. That's we good. nearly ate that. Yeah, me included, brother. Oh, man, it could so, have gone bad. Look, we've read the packet. you got to boil it for 30 minutes, all right, to probably kill whatever's left on it, all right? So James is just quickly going to pop it in the... in the, in the. the. What do you think's on pop it? Pop it in the, oh, like just little... Seaweed? Sea lice and sea bacteria that have got families and civilizations living on the skin surface of the dried-out octopus. Probably, probably full coming of mercury. In fucking That's flies. Crazy. Who knows? They probably fucking lie them out in the sun and let them bake and flies land on them and shit. you got to make sure you fucking boil them a bit so all that... Hot shit kills the bacteria that's absolutely smothering their skin. Oh, dude, that just made me like sleepy. That's so yuck. <laughs> so we're gonna move it's like on. Sedating. Yuck. So we're gonna get back to the fussy little boy segment. All right. And in the meantime, it's time for the voicemail segment. Fucking go, Brown. Smash it. Smash it like a misbehaving child. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Your rings. <laughs> oh shit! All, All right. right, and this is a segment where you guys call our number 04666023, and you guys can leave us voicemails, send us texts. You can send Matt Brown pictures of your stretched open asshole. I you will can, not look at them. You can you can send all kinds of shit. All right, we, it's funny as going through this. Keep that shit coming, everyone. So 04666023. Michael's now going to play for you guys some of the funniest, craziest shit we've received over the last week. Do you want me to hook that up to the Bluetooth or not? Oh yes. <laughs> Hey, lads. Um, just born in with my uh, how I how I lost my virginity uh, story. 
My name's Stace Mortimer. All I really remember is about 14, 15 year old, being out in the piss with a couple of my mates, smashed. Uh, woke up the next morning, may have been in like quite a familiar house, got my front with my arse in the air, and uh, I remember just like looking around and there's my uncle smoking a tab in the corner. <laughs> um, 20 years on, I still meet up with my uncle every now and again now, and we still get on every, every uh, now and again, but yeah. That's how I lost my virginity. Cheers, guys. See you later. So he's saying that his uncle took his virginity? Yeah. People have. People have lost their virginity. And he still meets up with him. That is Fuck fucking off. wild. Hey, yeah. man, you don't know. You don't know I people's don't need backgrounds, to man. You don't know people's backgrounds. I don't backgrounds. need to. We'll that just, is... James, we've, just to catch you up, we started the voicemail segment and we had someone tell us about their how they lost their virginity and their uncle did it. When they were 15. A guy. And he still sees him. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. Well, maybe it was a positive experience. Those two need, <laughs> like, so. how old was the guy? 14 or 15. Oh, okay, that's not okay. They need Dr. Phil. <laughs> well, look, if that you're happened. 18, it's okay to fuck your uncle, though. <coughs> well, if it's, it's consensual, it's I guess. Definitely, yeah. I wonder if that's it's, ever happened. It's still if, not normal. If, if an uncle and his nephew of age have consensually... Oh, it's got to have happened. Because cousins oh, do it. Dude, in like the butch and in, in like the, Ireland. Out in the butch. <laughs> <laughs> in Ireland. I in reckon Ireland. that happened. In the, in the meadows and shit. In the meadows. Uh, or like. I reckon. Ooh. <laughs> Don't push it. Or like I reckon Scandinavia, like out in the forest. Yeah, Scandinavia. Oh, they definitely would have done that shit. Uh, no. I oh, know for a fact that they do that there. Hundred percent. What's the hilly one where the sound of music's from? Africa? Austria. <laughs> Not Austria, but Switzerland. They do it in Switzerland. They've done it there, out in the big mountain places. I reckon. Yeah, I don't know about that. Look, it's a theory. Okay, it's a theory. Now, look, that is that that sort of uh, genre was you guys losing your virginities. Basically, remember this segment is anything. Be creative. That was good though. There was some long, long. There was a dude who called like four minute stories, and I did listen to them all, and they were crazy, dude. But it's if it's too long, yeah, we can't do it. Yeah, it's true. His Kapuka story was very funny. Shout out to you. But also, like, so maybe like under a minute. I reckon. A minute, Keep a minute. Yeah. Make us a laugh. Tops. Be weird in a minute. Doesn't have to be a story. Can be a sounds. Sound? Can be like uh, scripts that you've written. So you play characters. Matt will demonstrate a sound you could do. <laughs> yep. And you could do that like for longer. Try it again. But see, you can do sounds like that. Send that in. We love that. Yep. We also have like, you know, some messages from you guys, which are funny, but it is better if you it's your voice. And, and really send pictures of your balls to Matt. Has we anyone sent in any fart art? We haven't got fart. Oh, no. yeah, there's been some fart sounds, oh, but they haven't been like, not oh, real. my God. Not from the bum. So oh, they sound real. But are you guys not- saying that you don't have the attention span to listen to anything long? No, it's just. I listened through them. It was just, it's too hard for the podcast. It just makes sense to go okay. under a minute. Now, Matt was being passive aggressive. Yeah, Matt, that was a very, very, and very. And it pleased him. Mm, he's so- oh, it pleased him. <laughs> <laughs> he's wrapped he's- with that. <laughs> this isn't uh, wholesome, Matt. Yeah, majority. <laughs> <laughs> That's your mum. It's my yeah. mother's name. Okay, now yeah. this is something off topic. Are you sure that you it, want that out there? Now people know. I think I've said that before, haven't I? They don't know her last name. I do. Oh, well, they do know her last name. No. Bleep her uh, name, Connor, just in case. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> moving forward. That's that sort of thing that's done. You can still harassed. send in your sex stories or whatever story, okay? Make us laugh. Well, this guy is, is important. Okay. Now, his name is Bailey, I'm pretty sure, okay? Now, Bailey is the guy who has been trying to get in contact with us each week, but his, it's been his girlfriend answering, okay? So we've just been getting... Oh, the one you abused the other, other week. and Her name's Emily, right? I did not abuse her. I just showed her... That no, fair you enough. You were her. right to abuse her. It was abuse. You were right to abuse her. Abuse isn't abuse if it's no, deserved. Like, yeah, like, well, that's like a word. In the, ho- like in the eye of the beholder. Anyway, this is Bailey. Here abuse he is. This is an abuse if it's deserved. <laughs> All right, lads. You've tried to call me twice now on my missus' phone. And <laughs> the f- she keeps on fucking forgetting to put me in a three-way call so I'm never with her on a Monday. So get back to me on this number because I've got a thousand fucking bender stories I want to get get you to <laughs> in. 
fucking call me back on this number. <laughs> now, See for, you, lads. So for some reason, I can't find his number. No, it's Bailey. We are going through your girlfriend. If you want to say way. And she, not only that, she must meet our demands if we are to speak to you. Look, and you can leave your bender stories all you want, Bailey. That's great. But if you want to speak to us, it has to be through Emily. And she must meet our demands. Isn't that right, Matt Brown? Yes. I'd suggest starting to hang out with your girlfriend on a Monday. <laughs> yeah, maybe spend some All quality right. time together. Let's fucking call her and see if we can get her to uh, quack like a fucking duck. No, no, we can go bigger. Emily, you need to sound like a time machine for us. Why don't we just go? No, why don't we make a sound and she has to copy that sound? She has to go. <laughs> <laughs> she has to make that sound as loud as that. Okay, we'll compromise. We'll do that. But then at the end. Time machine sound, and that's up to up to her discretion. Yeah. And it has to be good. Yeah, yeah. It has to be oh, good yeah. Time oh, we're hanging up. Yeah. yeah, we're hanging up. If it's not, Michael, and then, what's your version of a good time machine sound? I was thinking like something like this. <laughs> that was not bad. Might oh. be a um like. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's cool. Nice. That's good, <laughs> Matt. Oh, see, mine, mine wouldn't even be the sound of a time machine. Mine would just be the time machine and the theme song of Back to the Future playing. Oh fuck, fuck you. Sake, dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's a basketball card thing to say. Sorry. Okay, D James. Oh, oh holy shit, that was sort of cool. Couple too. of button presses and then a boom, an explosion. Oh of movement. man, you guys are good at that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Let's see if Emily can compete you with can that stand off. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit. Oh, we'll just have to put her on speaker. Okay. Emily. <sighs> Hello? Emily, just shut up and listen, okay? You have to do a couple of things, otherwise we are not speaking to Bailey. First, oh. we want you to make... <laughs> you get me at the worst times, go on. Look, first you have to make this sound, okay? And okay. we want it as loudly as I'm about to do it. I'm in it. the shopping center. Yeah, oh, perfect. That's perfect. That's how it is, Emily. <laughs> that's the sound you have to make. <laughs> then, followed by the sound you think a... A time machine would make. Okay? Oh, you can't, what was the second sound? The second sound is up to your discretion. Oh, oh, the sound of a time machine. Whatever you think a time machine, whatever sound that is, you get to make that sound. Can She's like, you oh, Sorry, you're cutting out. What'd oh, you say? Wow, she wants the sound again. She's. Oh, you want the sound again? Hello? Emily? Emily's oh, being moved. Wow. Emily. Bailey, fucking you hell, need Emily. to assess your Look, fucking life. Oh, oh my fucking God, failed. Emily. Emily. Emily, what, what do we do this? Look, I reckon. Oh, wow. 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 Your partner, okay. Bailey. There you go. There you go. Man. Is, Emily, what, Emily, what's a, what's being a mean in she doesn't support you. Yeah, she's not being supportive as a, as a girlfriend. I, I would break up with her. If I, I was no, Bailey, no. I would. It's not just a breakup. This is a destroy everything she owns sort of breakup. This hurt her family. Hit her kids. <laughs> Have we gone too far? No. Okay. Man, every week it's the same shit. There's something yeah, wrong, Emily. Is that on loud in case she calls back? Oh, yeah, no. she'll definitely call back. But like, yeah, we're not it. answering. It's over. Snap her that's DVD done. list that's it. discs. I genuinely yeah. wanted to hear her time machine though. So do we give her a second chance? No. no. Look, we can okay. try again okay. next week. But, but no, no, yeah. that, that's it, Emily. And yeah. you have really dropped the ball for your boyfriend, Bailey. I am so, so sorry about that. And Dude, about throw that. her One Tree Hill box set out. No, yeah. don't ever, ever fucking do that. Somebody say Michael. Me. Sorry. It's not even. I think that's Smallville. All right, let's move on to trauma trivia. Hit it, Brown Town, 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 Brown, Brown. Brown's also buttons. Brown's also buttons. Hit it. Any buttons. Trauma trivia. Trauma trivia. Oh, look who it is. It's, it's fucking Bailey. Emily. This fucking isn't. This is nah, Bailey. Nah, look, we're not, not, nah, he had the chance. He had the chance. We yeah. can't. We can't anymore. Put her on silent. Put that shit on silent. We don't. Should we? we, uh, we I yell out. Back. We only go through Emily. Now back up. Okay. Off. All right. Yeah. yeah. That's good. On speaker. Make sure it's on. Bailey. We only, only go, go through, through Emily. Emily. Phone. It's only through Emily. 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 No. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
，天妖护身吗？天妖护身吗？Killed himself. Oh, oh, oh. oh. sorry, sorry. Whoa. Trauma trip. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if we if this keeps going, they could end up having to invite them to the live show. Imagine if he just went home and just lost it. <laughs> oh my god! Are just they Brisbane? Slams the fucking door as he comes in. <laughs> <laughs> that was my chance. <laughs> <laughs> we have nothing, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> It's, been like, it's like he explains it. It's like <laughs> it's like me hanging up on Taylor Swift. Oh, yeah. 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 We're, the <laughs> We're the same. We're the same. We're the same as her. It's a text message. Oh, my God. That scared me. That's a text message. Wow. Holy what shit. What did she say? Wow. Bailey has just thre- sent a threatening message. This should be directed at Emily, Bailey, not us. Yous are missing out. Emily, he should be screaming at it, Emily. You are missing it. Dude, it's my truth. It is a threat in my truth. Michael's been triggered and hurt. Fair enough. And that that means it's real. So Uh, that's that. Uncle Uncle Brookhouse. It made me bleed. (laughs) I am. All right, let's do this trauma Trauma. trivia, man. Fuck's sake. What do you got this week? I'm excited to fucking hate this segment. It's going to be... um, uh, Today's punishment is going to be... um, Where should we do it? The arm pinches that. Yeah, okay. Oh. Uh, back of the arm pinches. <laughs> oh, fuck me, man. That is the best and Dude, shittest I fucking hate it. Dude. Dude. For those who don't know, I had one the other day. It's a 10. A pinch it's to a the 10. tricep is fucking excruciating. Do you Try remember, it. Do you do remember it in high school? It pinches all over your body and then do there. It's fucked. And like, get oh, a good bit of It's like levels above and a like, normal my, pinch. My forearms are really strong too. It's really going to oh, hurt yeah, you. Oh, yeah. You got do you remember arms. in high school, Michael, all our friends would walk around with huge bruises on oh. their triceps because I would run up and pinch oh, people. Oh, my God. As hard as I fucking could Dude. and oh. leg it away from them. All right, fuck you, Matt. Let's go. What's the oh, topic? Oh, no. Um, you have to pick one out, pick one out, pick one out. I pick picked one, one last week, Michael. Out. Would you like to pick one? Oh, shit. Just one from the list, please. You're reading. Nah. You're right, reading. Right. Oh! oh! What oh, is wow. it? Read I it. I thought up. it was Michael, but it says music. Oh, for fuck's sake, music. Now, I have made it more fair <coughs> to Marty's, like, so Marty can be equal with you. Because I know I don't less. know that much about music. You fucking know that's what. That's that. what he said about golf, and you knew when Tiger Woods was born, that is so true. Yeah, oh, I was man. impressed with that. I so watched that on the front. Like, oh, Sorry, Michael. Oh, thanks, James. <laughs> All right, man. Oh, no pain is about to come. <sighs> Shit, um, five pinches in the same spot. Roxy goes first. Dude. Is that how it works? I yeah. think so. Or should yeah. we write an answer on a paper? That's what someone no, suggested. No. Oh, yeah. Sis- oh, we're going to do that. I'm going to get boards for you for next. What are we next? But week? this week we pay this paper. This is paper, right? Shit! Shit! Oh, okay, I would like to have first attempted the quest. Oh, it's going to be so easy. Like who? who it might wrote? not be. It could okay. be one of those mm. scenarios where who's closest? Yeah, Ooh. Michael. So being negative, Nancy. Okay, sorry. All right. All right. Question, Question number, number one. one: How many people attended the original 1969 Woodstock Festival? Oh, my. Is this in Australia, Woodstock? No. Shit. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Oh, this is, I'm glad I'm going second. Yeah, it's almost better. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, well, that's the... Uh, I'm going to say... I'm going to say... I don't know what I'd say. Like uh, across the whole festival. So people Four, coming and going? Like a three, so, four-day thing? Uh, I don't know what the original one was, but... Yeah. Fuck. But this gonna, is across the whole thing. I'm going to say... Uh... 406,000. Okay. Michael? 407,000. And the answer is 400,000. Dude, I just I would have fucking definitely thought. said less than four hundred thousand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just fucking that smart. <laughs> now I'm gonna rip your dress up. Oh, 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 wait, oh, wait, I want to get this. Oh, oh man, I'm really gonna pinch. <laughs> 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 Scared, I've earned this victory pinch. <laughs> Give me your arm. Wait, 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 wait. Here it comes. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> 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 He's gonna leave a mark. Oh my god. That 
is going to leave a mark. <laughs> so painful. <laughs> 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 So pressure, dude. They oh. are the worst. Oh it's God. the worst. How did I lose that? I challenge you, Marty, to make him run. If you can make him run today, I'm gonna be well. He might get up and dart a bit. Yeah. I reckon Shit. I can pinch a bit of the flesh off, oh. the bit of the muscle off the way I'm going. I can pinch some of the muscle off so it's floating around separately. Oh. Okay. Like, okay. Fuck. All right. Question number two for Michael first. Oh, I'm scared now. Um, please be easy. Beyonce. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, Beyonce uh, holds the record for the most Grammys ever won. Oh, no. How many Grammys has she won? <laughs> I know this. I love Beyonce and I follow her. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to say, the look. I'm going to say, look, it has to be a high number. So probably um, 23. Okay, good. That's a very good guess. Yeah, that is a good guess. Martin? That's hard to go up or down. What okay, would your look, she's been be? around for what? Let's say 20 years, right? She's had a lot of good Probably hits. Probably longer. Yeah, about 20 years. And some years she'll win like three in a go, right? Mm, I reckon yeah. more. She's had a few where she's won a lot. So Fuck would you say 23? Daddy. Would you say 23? Yeah, I did. I'm going to say 24. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit, 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 shit. He loves it. That means I'm in trouble. <laughs> what is I'm it, man? The answer's 32. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Go get the Snapchat back out. Same spot. No, 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 no. Gotta get the Snapchat. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> That. The jumper oh. really helps me get a good grip. Oh. Usually my fingers slip a little bit, but I'm able oh. to apply extra oh friction with that jumper. Michael, that same spot. I hate this game, dude. Michael, Only three rounds left. Michael, as adjudicator, I must say, you cannot strike the person who's putting oh. up the punishment. If that happens okay. again, yeah, if it happens again, me. extra pinch. It's an extra pinch. Yes. Yes. Okay, right. don't yell. Okay, I understand there's pain and you want to lash out. Yeah, you, that hurts. Okay. I'm don't just gonna do lash out physically at myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll self harm then, Matt. How would you like that? Yes. He'd love that. Thank you. Question number three, three, three. Uh, how many musical instruments are there in the world? Oh, oh that's tricky. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I yes, actually yes, know yes, this. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, there must be a fuck. If, if, what, if, if, talking about what if some homeless <laughs> got a bin lid down in the valley and he's hitting it with a stick? Nah. Nah, they've got to be proper instruments. <laughs> but uh -huh. like, are we talking like, you know, a snare that drum, tom-tom, just... all the percussion or is percussion one? Yeah, no, what, surely it's all. what about acoustic guitar, guitar? No, yeah. they'd be different. Instruments. Would acoustic guitar, electric guitar be different? What about like how there might have no, been made on. like millions of guitars? Do you have to say all the ones that have ever no, been made? No, no, no. What's your birth year? I would say what, guitar. What year one. Oh, really? Sorry, what about an electric your... guitar? Okay. Surely different. I wouldn't dwell on it too much. Well, it it adds to my answer. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to say, hmm, there's a lot of countries out there that got a lot of weird shit. They do a little flutes, little bendy, little fucking sticks with holes in them and shit. They fucking whack them up against the <laughs> branches, shit, that make funny sounds. They swap it up and down like that. I'm going <laughs> to say, oh, fucking, here we go. I'm <laughs> fucking, I uh, can't stab in the dark here. I'm a real stab, I'm going to say. I'm Don't gonna forget say, the organ. I'm going to say. <laughs> That's very German. <laughs> I'm going to say. 119. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 119 instruments in all the world. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. 120. Yeah. Ha! Michael you fool! <laughs> so I'd guess like 4,000. The answer is 1,500. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. Revenge will be sweet. <sighs> Michael. Oh, it's Michael. so good when you get to dish it. You are such an asshole, man. Oh, wait, oh. wait. Sorry. I don't think you're ready for this journey. I don't think you're ready for this journey. I don't think you're ready for You don't have this. the strength to harm me. You don't have the strength. Look him in the eyes, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it didn't hurt at all. And then right at the end, his little pincers got yeah, in. Right at the end. <laughs> little rat claws got in. Dude, it sucks. <laughs> does it split the skin? Uh, I don't know. It's fun when you get to do it, but not when it gets done don't to you. Know. Yeah. Yeah. That's 2 what. 1. <laughs> Very good. Question number four. Oh, oh. Michael's um, answer. What is Ryan's favorite music genre? Oh, surely oh, you know shit. this. I don't know. I don't know. This. Have a stab. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, I'm going to say it is it. 
Don't, 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 no clues. Hum, hum, hum. Look, I'm going to say, and it's pretty easy, it's <laughs> rap. I'm going to agree and say rap. That is correct. It's rap. Yes. <gasps> so that means we both we survive. Don't, we don't pinch. You both get to pinch Matt. Oh, <laughs> that is not the rules. <laughs> <sighs> Can we touch your feet at least? Yeah, let's yeah. touch you. I want to touch you. I want to have a little gravity, a little flying. <laughs> 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 skin to skin Down syndrome <laughs> Alright Final question I have to answer first Oh so it's either a tie Or a landslide um, Well I've got two Yeah it's two one It's so two ones Michael still. wins it's two all Two 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 Shit Here we go Please don't Question number five How many instruments Does James Lee play <sighs> Keep a straight face. Like well or has played? That he can play. The ones I put down are the ones that I would be comfortable standing up in front of a group of 10 to 20 people and playing something. Okay, so okay, well. All right. I'm going to say four. Okay, Michael? Three. I was going to say three. <laughs> the answer is... Six. Electric guitar in it. <laughs> guitar, ukulele, drums, trumpet, euphonium, and piano. A piano, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Forgot about your shit trumpet. Yeah, thing. dude. No, no, I played <laughs> it for years. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's making him angry. I'm first. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it. No. No. Let's get a bruise. Let's get a bruise, baby. I'll have to show you this. It's so painful, later, man. man. It's still. <laughs> oh, I win 3 1. All right, last pinch now. Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 me just joking. <laughs> you let go. You can go move on. <laughs> Thank fuck that's over. Can what? we um? Can we do the tiebreaker question? Because it's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, but not not a no pu punishment fuck. involved. No punishment. Okay, quickly. Um, Cooper plays in a band. What instruments does he play? Bass. Bass drum. Yeah. Bass no, guitar. Just, yeah. Bass. Oh, guitar. I would have lost that. Oh, bass drum. No, no, I knew it was bass. <laughs> That'd be so good if yeah. Could. Cooper's <laughs> playing a massive bass drum. <laughs> Okay. All right, all right. Has it been thirty minutes? Yet? Four minutes and sixteen seconds until the octopusy is ready. All right, well, let's do how, how famous, famous are we, Hit and it, then Matt. we'll fucking get in the octopusy taste. Fame, fame, I want fame. What's my name? It's not a game. He wants fame. My name is not a game. I need fame. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, let's read this one first. All right, this, to Wendell Saylor, as you know, we st we started replying to Wendell Saylor. He did reply, and by the way, this is a segment where we send DMs to famous celebrities, and if they reply, that means we're on their level of fame. All right, and we each week we go up a little bit higher, a little bit higher. I just wanted to go back to this Dell conversation because it turned out to be pretty funny. And Wendell, we fucking love you. All right, if you ever this ever gets to you, we do actually love you, and it's fucking. It was it was a good time watching you play, man. Mm. And I wish you were here instead of Matt. My mum met him in the nursing home. Really? Was he, he was visiting his grandma. Yeah. Is he that old? Oh, no. He's no, no, no. Yeah, he was. Well, maybe it was his mum. But anyway. I loved really, him he was on the footy show. He was a mum, fucking so funny man. Good on, on you, religion. Del. Anyway, so we said to him, Big Del, Adam McDougall told us a funny story about you. Wanted to know if it was true or not. And he replies and said, yeah, dogs love him. Haha, <laughs> he reckons you've started growing marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> to which Dell replied, What a stupid thing to say. Never have, never will. Make sure you get your info right, okay? 
<laughs> oh, no. He said that. Yes. <laughs> but then I said, uh, ha nah, mate, we're just winding you up. Haven't ever spoken to him. We're big fans and used to watch you play. And then he replies with, ha, 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 you, you got... You, all good. You got me good. Oh, oh good wow. Shit. We're what friends with Wendell. We're Wendell. best friends with Wendell Saylor. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Best friends with Wendell Saylor. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So as you all know, we did DM um, Nicole. What's her tits? Richie. But bitch oh. ain't reply. So uh, she didn't reply. So we've DM'd a bunch of other fucking people. And let's see what some of these other fucking <laughs> said. So we, we DM'd um, Dan Hooker, you know, from the UFC. Pretty big deal. And we said to him. Quick question. Are you in New Zealand currently? And he replied and said, yeah, bro, live in AKL, so Auckland. So there you go. Oh, same level, oh, same what a legend. As- Holy shit. Is he like a big, big uh, fighter? I'd oh, be yeah. terrified if he wanted yeah, to fight At least me. we've got protection now. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, I think he's just, that's pretty much means he's willing to protect us. He's got half a mil, half a mil on bloody fly layer. Yeah? Maybe say that. Maybe let him know that would if you we protect- ever come to Auckland, would you be our security? Uh, yeah, can help yeah. us fight this guy. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, that's a great idea. If we come to New Zealand, would you protect us? (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, it's good. All right, so I've sent that to him. We'll see what... It's always good to be up front with new friends. I I agree. All right, so there you go. Um, We've also DM'd Liam Gallagher. Oh, man, if he replies... We've DM'd... That is um, tick off the life box. Preston Lacey. We've DM'd Carl Stefanovic, who's left us on scene. Oh, Carl. Carl never Carl. replies anymore. Carl's over us. Message yeah, his he's, brother. He's better anyway. Yeah, he, I think Carl's had, had had his fun with us. Yeah, I think we're not cool enough for Carl. You're not um, mainstream. Carl's bigger than us. And we've messaged Reese Walsh, who is a Brisbane Broncos football player, and we've said, quick question, how was Vegas? Did you have a bet? You met our friend. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. So These those are seeds little, we've planted. Those are the little fucking seeds we've thrown out and we've scattered around. We've done all the maths, people. We've done like a football players, re- retired football players, current football players. We've we've we're, we've done a UFC pl- uh, fighter now. We're getting up there, boys. All right. We're p- we're it's pretty big. Like, we're, as soon it's going to be like fucking. It's going to be like crazy, bro. It's going to be like a fucking storm, <laughs> dude. Imagine fucking having like Billy Kevin Slater. Bacon message us. <sighs> You'd love that. Yeah, yeah I would, love, I would that. Love, that. I or, love that. Or Steven Spielberg. And remember, you guys, that. remember, guys, <laughs> if you if you can think of someone you want us to DM, they might DM back, let us know in the comments, right? Fucking slap that shit straight in the comments and turn around and spit point blank range in your fucking mum's face and tell her to fuck off. <laughs> 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 yeah, fucking spit in her face. Matt wouldn't let me message Andrew Johns. No, oh, he said really? he's not. He said he's not good enough. <gasps> oh, James Matt. loves Andrew Johns. So no, I, the- I said he's probably not on socials very much. Oh, well, you've got to try. You can't try unless you try. But we've now, he's only like 80K. We're, our numbers that we just hit, what What did you say Dan Hooker is? 500K? 500K, yeah. So, yeah. He's pretty big. All right, it's um, been a few minutes. Let's go get that octopus and have a go at fussy little boys. <laughs> All right, and, oh, and we're shit. back, everyone, and we're back. Oh, it looks so much worse. <laughs> oh, it looks kind of revitalized. It looks kind of, all right, here oh, we go. Oh, it looks so much excited. worse. Oh, Very yes. excited. All right, so we've been boiling this dry octopus now for half an hour, <laughs> boiling it in hot water, and now we're going to have a have a bit. It's probably a bit, oh! probably a bit slimy in now. <laughs> very rubbery and chewed up, been dried out in the baking hot sun with maggots and flies crawling all over it, but we now have killed oh, most of the bacteria, dude. hopefully. So these were living octopus and they've been killed and dried out, slapped on the concrete in the baking hot sun. Oh, the smell is fucking <laughs> revolting. <laughs> Give him some smell. The boys have this. opened like all the windows and oh, all really? of the doors. Yeah, they were struggling. <laughs> all right, let, let's, should we go first, James? Yeah, I reckon. Right? Yeah. Take a fork, my schlintz. So this is what a normal person trying food for the first time, how they will approach something like this. You know what? I'm just going to get it with, with my flint. Yeah, I'm going to use my hands Do you too. want a piece of, of tentacle or head? Tentacle, oh, please. Don't say it like <laughs> that. I'd love some tentacle, please. Are that's you happy where, for me to touch it? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Because that's where the suction was. That's do how they you suction want, to do things. Do you want a bit of the dipping sauce? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just have a little dip in. Whoa, now. It's quite a large tentacle bit. Can you just hold the yeah. dipping sauce? 
Oh, it's still yeah, quite just tough, isn't it? Be careful going over there. So What's drip. wrong? It doesn't drip he doesn't want it to drip oh, on the flying. I thought you were worried about your waterproof sh- clothing. <laughs> okay, there you go, Martin. Dankeschön. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh. The fact that it Thoughts? took like two shots to like bite. It's to very f- leathery, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, very leathery. Is mm. the sauce nice? It is, yeah. It makes a big difference. I'll just nah. whip that up. Nah. This is fucked up. I kind of like um very springy. It's it's, it's similar. It's like sea- oh! instead of beef jerky, it's seafood jerky. Yeah. It's like Fuck, fish man. jerky. Just, oh. Really? Mm. All, right. Which- All right. Here we go, Michael. Michael. I saw that bit too. Michael, no, I wanted that bit. Michael and Matt. Now here we go. <laughs> One at a time, please. I want to see each of your reactions. And remember, you two must rate it out of ten. I give that a seven out of ten. You I'm gonna go a five. It is not food. It's a fucking octopus. I like fresh octopus. Fresh octopus is no joke. Yeah, that's all right, I'm ready. Can we go? Yeah, get it done. Show us Three, what you got, Brown. Do I have to eat all that? Hell yeah. Fuck you. Dead fish. Oh, yeah, it's like jerky. Oh, it's not too bad. See? That's yes. fucked. <laughs> all right, Michael's turn to eat the baked dried octopus. <laughs> Left so out in the sun to so sweat. slippery and then they dry it out and boil it again oh, to kill all the bacteria on it. Oh, salty. Oh, filthy oh. sea mite and Chew, lice Michael. crawling all over it. They're dead in a bucket with other things touching it. <laughs> heaps of octopus. Oh, heaps, of, heaps, of, uh, heaps of octopussies <laughs> together. Heaps of octopussies slammed together and dried out, slopped onto the ground one by one by some aging <laughs> Who gets paid four dollars a fucking hour? Doesn't give a shit about his job. Flies. Talk about pussies. <laughs> oh, dude, that was so close to going Octop- in his mouth. Octopussies all stretched onto the ground, <laughs> stretched and dried. <laughs> no fishy octopussies. Ah, oh, yeah, dude, this is so fucked up. <laughs> it's in my throat. <laughs> it's in my throat, dude. It's so fucking disgusting. <laughs> How's that compare to the oyster? That's that's worse than the oyster wow. somehow, dude. Really? What did you think of it out of ten? It is. A, that's a one, <laughs> dude. The smell. The smell. The smells. Yeah. Dude, no. it's, like, have it's like a, look a, at a shit. head. Should have a little bit of the head. No, that's an, oh, look dude. at that. Look at its little slinced. Oh, oh wow, Jesus. dude. It's like a shit gummy lolly. Oh, yeah, it is like a shit gummy. Try lolly. the head. I can't, dude. I can't. Like, <laughs> Come on, just have a go. Enough. I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> Octopussy fight! <laughs> <laughs> and we're Sorry. throwing dead animals at each other. Sorry. All right. And so, an intelligent so, animal too. So I hate it. Matt, what do you give it out of ten? Oh, this is. It is yeah. like an octopus jerky. I do agree, but it's like a four. Okay. All right. So it's, Michael, it's this week is fussy. It's, it's one. Fucked up. If anyone <laughs> eats that for, for pleasure. They're just shit. Now you're being I racist. will say though, if I'm if no. I'm stuck on an island, I can eat that. That would be so good. Stuck on a what? On I'm an stuck island. on an island and can't get off. That would be amazing. But no. even if it had flies on it, yep, I, that, I, that's doable. Yeah, I, I can live off that. Man, but my arm hurts. It's not good. <laughs> Really, the was, was this, from the this this this, <laughs> Look how on edge this is. shirt here really helped me grip hard, dude. Usually I slip off, but I could really dig in hard. So that's gonna leave three little Stop bruises. Stop fucking touching it, Matt. Stop, Stop touching the octopus. Look at little suckers on it. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Tongue, put your tongue on one and see if it sucks onto your tongue. <laughs> oh, that'd be so crazy if it did. All right. So there you have it, everyone. Michael is again fussy this week. Again, if you have any suggestions for what the boys should eat for the, our fussy little boy segment, please leave them in the comments below. All right, guys. To get a <laughs> we've got a PO box here from Jono, and we're gonna fucking open it real quick before the prank call. So yeah, if you want to send, send us anything, PO box two five six Tagum. We open everything. Eighteen Queensland, Australia. Send us weird shit. We open everything live on the podcast. Okay? Jono sent us a and, spider, and now and he sent Matt, us this. Matt oh, must no. try everything. No, he said not he me. would. He said he would. All right, it's a little bag oh. of these dried chilies, and the smell immediately hits me. Wow, that it's like it's like I've been pepper sprayed, and I'm only holding onto a fucking bag of it. And uh, these are quite spicy. Let's open it up and have a smell. Does he, has he said in there what they are? 
Ghost peppers, I'm pretty sure. Really? Are they worse than Carolinas? It's not okay. Brown is the chili. I'm just going to see what Jono said to me in the messages. Yeah. That's uh, smells hot. Smells hot. It's definitely. Um, you got your work cut out for you there, Brown. Oh! Thank you very much, Jono. Ca- they are Carolina Reapers. Carolina Reapers. Oh, there you go, Matt. <laughs> You've had plenty of those before. I guess you just got to. You just got to take a, a walk on the wild side. And just pop, pop one in your mouth and swallow it. Pop one in your mouth and swallow it. Dude. Brown, what's going through just your brain right it. now? Just chew I've it. I've done it before and I don't want to do it again. It just ruins the whole night. Sorry, John. Do you want to do it at the end, at the very end? Because I feel like you're going to be running around screaming yeah, and crying. Sorry, I will be. Done. That's, that's sorry, always everyone watching. Oh. Sorry, John. Lick your finger now. Where you, sorry, no, John. No, yeah, I know you've done so much for the podcast, Sorry, John. John. Sorry Matt's, about Matt's that. Matt's done it before. Matt said it's he just, would eat everything, but it um, just I ruins guess the night. Yeah. yeah, no, I, he's pretty John, fussy. I'm sure John okay. will understand. I'm he's sure. very oh, fussy. Only, it's sorry, a, we're only trying to entertain people. It's 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 fine. Whatever we can move on. So it's fine. Oh. Why don't you do it then? Thank you oh, for well, wasting um, our time. Exactly. Um, we'll move on to the. Have, should, should we just cut that whole? Should we just cut that whole? I think let's leave it in to really to shame Matt. But um, yeah, look, see what we're doing. Look, John, how about this? We will use these in some form of video content. Okay. Yeah, and who knows? We might even grind them up into a little powder and sprinkle it on Matt's face while he's sleeping on the couch. Yeah, mm. that's not a bad idea. All right, are we ready to move on to the prank call? Any more gifts you want me to open, Brown? Any more gifts you want to give? Oh, we've lost him. Hey, hey, prank call time, or you want? What yeah, you prank call time. All right, let's hit it, Brown. We don't have it. Prank call time. Yeah, you have, you you have remix answers. There's a prank Vegas call over the door. The prank, prank, prank call over the door. Waste your fucking time. We'll prank. waste it. And this week's prank call is brought to you by Joe Fortune, guys. Go and check out Joe Fortune's socials. He runs heaps of giveaways. It's an online uh, casino, all right? Full disclosure, um, he is uh, helping to sponsor the podcast. And we are eternally grateful for you guys for helping grow this podcast to a place where we can actually start making a bit of cash from it. So thank you guys and thank you, Joe Fortune. Hell if you yeah. if you're into your online gambling, obviously if you have a fucking problem, don't go near it. Okay. We don't want we don't want people going well, broke here. Okay. Go. Fuck it. Fuck it. You may, you, you'll be able to stop. Even if you have a problem, go and have a bit of a punt on Joe Fortune. Visit his socials, Joe Fortune, and have fun with have fun with it, everyone. Have fun, enjoy Dude, it. We <laughs> should do that after this. I'm gonna, I'm literally gonna play blackjack after this. <laughs> I'm writing a reminder. <laughs> That'll be fun as shit. Have I never done that? Problem. <laughs> Joe Fortune, thank you. All right. I'm fucking freaking out, Lee. Services are in speaking. Yeah, g'day, mate. Um, my name's Darren. Um, look, I don't know how to say this right. I um, just recently went into one of your um, public toilets and that. Um, and while I was um, on the toilet, you know how he's got them like, little bins and that next to it? One of them, one of the tops was breaking, right? Like, um, like the, you know how lid, usually you pull a lid up and there's another little lid that comes, that comes and stops you from like putting your hand down to it? Well, that was broken, snapped off, right? And I'll go and put... Picked it up, picked the lid up, right? My hand going straight in, straight past it, right? And I've gone yeah. and I've been pricked by something inside of it. I didn't see it. I pulled my hand out quick as a flash, but still, I got a little blood spot there. And now I'm I'm starting to freak out and that because like, like I don't know what like is in there. Do you know what I mean? So like, what do I do from here? Like, I, I've already don't, you don't need to tell me to book in at doctor. I've already done that. But like, is there anything like short term and that like this ha- this happened yesterday, right? Yesterday, can I still like like try suck like the blood out of my finger or something where I got jab? Like, is there something that you recommend that I can do to like I don't know, just just m- make me like um, better my chances that like nothing bad's happened than that. Oh, I got no idea, mate. You just have to go straight to a doctor. Oh, yeah, like, well, it's kind of like, like, it's kind of your fault, but, know. but. What it could have been? It, it could have been a piece of paper that had a sharp edge. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. But, like, it's kind of your. Where the bin? It was one of the, one of the, one of the public toilets, or north side. What of do public toilets, mate? Well, wherever the fuck it was. I got your number from one of them, all right? I don't know which bloody toilet it was. 
Yeah, but where are you? Like, we, we cover Gympie to, to Sunshine. Brizzy. I'm, I'm in Brizzy. I'm in Brizzy, mate. And, like, you know, for, for, for you to say that, that's, that's like, I'm panicking right now. you got to understand, like, I'm, I'm yeah. pretty scared right now, right? So, like, yeah. and, and at the end of the day, like, I'm... I'm Oh, it was it was near Saint Vinny's nursing home or something like right. I was I was visiting Nan at Saint Vinny's and went to one of the toilets. There. I don't know, okay, I don't know where where it was, but one of the toilets there. It happened and it happened because your lid was broken, right? That's that's on you guys. Like that lid was broken and I've gone like barely letting my hand on it, slip, hand slipped straight in and I've pulled my fucking finger out with a fucking little jab in it. Okay. So, like, oh, like, I oh, know you can't do nothing yourself right now, but I'm just saying, like, if, if I get, like, some bad news and that, like, or, like I, I don't know, like, I'm going to probably have to speak to Laura and that, like, because, like, you's, you's got to ha- make sure you put, like, steel cage or something around them, like, so no one can break them and that, because, like, it's so easy to just bust, bust them up and, and stick your little, f- stick your little fucking fingers in there and get a little fucking jab on it, mate. And that's not on, mate. And that's not on. Okay. Look, I'm not saying it's your fault or nothing, all right? I'm just letting you know that this has happened and maybe send someone out to fix that one. And look, all, I won't take it any further, all right? All I want right now, okay, I'm, I'm feeling a little scared, a little panicked. All I want right now is just a formal apology, a heartfelt apology from you to me saying that you, you guys have dropped the ball here and you haven't put enough protection on your sanitary bins. That's all I'm asking. Okay, I understand what you're saying, but what I'm also saying too is you are not supposed to be putting your hand inside the sanitary bin. How are you meant to know, like, what's what, but, like, you got the toilet paper sitting right there. It's like, it's, it's, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's... Mate, it's... It's a female fem care bin. It's, you're supposed to be putting sanitary pads in it. Yeah, look... Where are you putting a sanitary pad in it? No, look, mate, I was just trying to stand up or something. I don't even know how it happened. It happened in a flash. But what I'm saying is it shouldn't have... However it happens, right? What if someone's... What if someone slips a bit and, like, puts their hand out to try and balance themselves and like, fingers go in, fucking pull them out with a couple of heroin needles stuck in your fucking wrist? You know what I mean? Like, you've got to put more protection around your fucking sanitary been so the fucking thing don't fucking stab people. So I really just need an apology right now from you. A heartfelt one. Look, I'm not putting up with just, oh, sorry. I want a heartfelt apology because I'm feeling real fucking scared right now and I don't know what to do. Okay. All I can say, mate, is maybe go to a doctor and see what they say. Well, I have, but are you hearing me? All I want is just, please, just, I, I want you to hear you say sorry and I want sorry. I want you to mean it. I can't do this, mate. Sorry. What do you mean you can't do? Oh. <sighs> She did say sorry. Yeah, she, she kind of did say sorry. I reckon sorry. if you had said stand with me, she would have been down. <laughs> I reckon she was like thinking you were like just trying to get her to say sorry for some sort of dodgy reason. You're going to record her voice or something? Well, get yeah, her to she, admit it or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. She nah, did apologise. She did apologise uh, for what of. she did. I think huh? she said sorry because she couldn't say sorry. <laughs> Well, that's that's a that's, that's a, a negative I, sorry. That's I, I, it. Kind of worked. It a sorry <laughs> for a sorry is a sorry. It kind of worked there a little bit. It's very good. <laughs> all right, everyone. We <laughs> failed the prank all there, but we'll be back next week. And don't forget, next week we're back with Bamboozled and the Great Debate, and that's favourite segment. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and give us a five star review. It keeps the wheels of the podcast oh! turning. We're the best. 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 We're the best.